G'day YouTubers and welcome back to Nuclearies, the nuclear plant facility simulator that we've been having so much fun with over the last few months and has been so popular on the channel as of recent. So thank you all for the new subscribers, all that good stuff, but rather we need to end the old season to start a new one because this save is currently broken and I'd normally go ahead and cause like a nuclear meltdown. But I've tried all sorts of different ways, and no matter what I do, it just doesn't work. So we're just going to go ahead and leave in the train. So at least we start with a 50% of our level and 50% of our prestige points we currently have at the moment in the new save. Just as I'll change over that XML, but it'll be the exact same. Chemicals update installed, experimental at the moment, the RNG failures and the weather consequences all that good jazz will all be the same, except the update will now work. All the future stuff will be included and I'll show you as we go through. Fantastic. Normal mode, very start. I've just altered the XML to give us 50% of what money we had before, plus the 2000 we had to start with, as well as level four, since we are or were level eight in the previous save. So let's just go ahead and just go and turn everything on we need to. It's not gonna be too much of a tutorial per se. I'm just going to get everything going and have it all running as we had previous with our boric acid controlling the reactivity of the uh, core and all that sorts of stuff without any control rods being inserted. So they'll be eventually set to zero at some point in this episode, but um, let's get everything else going. I got that vacuum on. Yep, good, good. Let's get the boric acid starting into it. And we got our Mr. Pressurizer on, that's good. We need to insert the core just like that in a numinul and pop that into the core just like that. Cool bananas. So let's swing on over here, turn the pump on and let's get it to start off at about 40% I think should be good. And before 12 o'clock, we'll definitely have to buy loop two straight away on the first day so we'll have to shut down a lot earlier than we did last season all sorts of things will be different than we had to in the last one but if you don't know what we're doing go and watch it because i explained everything as we went through with the chemicals if you wanted it installed so with all that going let's go and set these to 80 and let's bring up that temperature right meow yeah, reactivity, come on up. So we want that reactivity to be really quite high. Just try and kill off that xenon as fast as we possibly can so we can get a smoother operation and bring that temperature up a lot more than what we usually would. Resistor on. Let's get this bad boy set up at probably about 35, I think, to start with. And then we'll get this one on to about 2 because I want this to be nice and hot. No more than like 90 degrees, I think, would be good so our steam generator doesn't have to work so hard here we go there's 55 degrees fantastic rooney excellent integrity is nice and good reactivity is really high that's really good to see uh we're not 100 degrees just yet on this one our boric acid is definitely being input that's good we don't need to open our rcv valve to make room for it temperature will eventually start coming up once we get this on so let's get that on right there excellent our vacuum is pulled on the condenser and i might over do this one just by a little bit turn it off at about twenty-one thousand, so just about now ish and then it will power down over time so that should be good let's get our external reservoir starting to fill the one on the water's edge because it takes a really 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 long time and we might as well have this at full capacity 24 7. so we might as well once it gets full i'll just turn that pump off as always so we're coming down on that let's see if we can start fighting it and bring up our temperature even more we need to kill that xenon we need to get rid of that we don't want the xenon 235. uh make sure if you really struggle with what we're doing here go and watch the driving the reactor kind of tutorial it explains it in like a car analogy Danger yep there we go we are now producing power absolutely fantastic let's just mute that for now and since we're doing that let's request to start operations which it'll probably come back at about 10 o'clock that they'll want power so let's get this up to about oh i think about 25 to start with and we'll just keep an eye on it that it doesn't go to absolute zero so we're at least bringing this up 
before we need to start outputting power by sinking to the grid and closing the breaker. The compensator I will not be using as I find it really makes the, ge uh, the energy generated kind of balance out and stabilize a lot more than what it normally is. And it kind of makes it easy mode if you would per se. So let's get this up to 40 and let's just see when this starts dropping down and then I'll stop it whatever at the values at at that point. So right there, 35 should be okay because we don't want to go over 5,000 kilowatts because we'll blow our resistor. So this one's dropping right now. Let's get this up to 40. Let's run on over here and check our reactivity. It's a little bit low. Let's get that nipped in the butt again. We want that at about 15 always almost and 360 degrees. So what's that one? We got 10 o'clock on the rocket clock. It's what we want. We're still dropping down, but it looks like it's not dropping down by a lot. We shouldn't drop to zero with this or we might now that looks like it's dropping really really fast let's just get that to 25 so we can start raising up a bit more yep so 30 seems right smack on there 79 76 73 let's get this up to 45 what's our temperature going 38 it is on that is perfectly fine the way it is reactivity is dropping ever so slowly that's okay 65, 68, 7, 73, 78. Let's just get that nipped in the butt a little bit and get that controlled a bit more. We're still putting more boric acid to control the reactivity in there. This is coming up by one. We are at 1500. Let's get this to 33. So it's open by a third. It's only bypassing a third of the steam around the turbine which will make this a lot hotter than it normally would do, but that's fine by me. Good, good. We're stabilizing at about 1700. Let's go 35. Just a little bit more than a third, because I don't want to go anywhere near 5,000. I don't want to blow it up. 300 degrees. We're dropping severely, so let's drop that severely and pull those control rods all the way out as much as we can and while we're doing that let's go ahead and drop this down to zero let it kind of level out a second how are we going on that 14 15 that's okay let's get this back on going 50 get that putting back in again nice and stable over here almost let's go 50 on that 2200 let's go 40 we're almost at 10 o'clock, which is really good. We can start outputting power to the grid and then we can buy all that stuff that we need to. 13, 22, if this drops down again, severely, I'm gonna start yanking out these control rods. Yep. So let's go 25. Still has a bit of a significant impact when it gets pulled out, which is fine, that's good. 17 hundy getting pretty good and we're almost at 22,000 the reason why all of these aren't here is because the city's not expecting any power just yet because it's before 10 o'clock that time there 20 61 58 let's get this up a little bit more say 52 should be good 70 degrees let's get this up by an extra 100% so just double that 97 that's still raising quite severely so let's triple it up see how we go on that we might need to get that to about 10 yeah let's go and get 10 on it just want to get it it's because we're using our turbine bypasses it's actually increasing the heat in this by a lot more than it normally would do so let's just get that nipped straight now and that will actually start making this number rise up because the water's colder. Stabilizing 2700, eight minutes before 10 o'clock. Fantastic. All right, that's down to that. Let's get that all the way out and let's stop that. How are we gonna go on this one? 9.39, 9.40. I'm gonna have to clean out a little bit of the boric acid I'm thinking. But it might just jump all of a sudden once they get to absolute zero in the calculations of the game. So I'll just give it a little bit more than normal because we've got okay temperature. More than enough than what we need to. 
So we'll just give that a second to level out. 2039. Good, good. 74. That's now starting to come down. That's good. We wanted that. Uh, we got three minutes. We are already at the 3060 RPM and we've already got the 22,000 out of 22,000 that will eventually come up with the 51 and 51. So that should be really good right there. Should be up in just a minute. So let's get ready for it. 9.39, 10 o'clock. So let's just raise this up a bit, get it clockwise. Ding, ding. Let's get it a little bit faster. Slow it down a bit. And stop right there, pretty please. Let's close the breaker. Fantastic, we are now outputting any power generated out to the grid. So let's stop bypassing any steam around the turbine. We want it to go right through and actually get the temperature up on it nice on all three of these gauges like that. There we go, the torque's coming on up. More and more power generated, as you can see just there. And now this won't be so hot, so I should be able to turn this down to about 10-ish, let's say 10. And that should still drop rather nicely. How did our reactivity end up? 952. So it ended up needing a little bit of this to be filtered out. So let's put it on the slow function on 25. And we can see the gauge from here. Let's get it in 2x speed as well. Let's start speeding this up. Oh, and my speed options, if you are wondering, don't touch the top two. Put it on three and four. So this... On the 2x speed, if I just exit out of this one and go time, this will be one and a half times speed. And this will be 2x speed with the um, that being full time skip if your reactor is not reactive at that present moment. So that's how that all kind of works. Just waiting for the boric acid to start filtering out through that ion column. It should um, really start kicking butt in just a second. 8.9, it'll get there in a sec. It'll go down before it goes up, but that is what you need to do to actually bring that reactivity up. That should start coming up a lot faster than that. No, nope, let's go 50 on it. That might kick its butt a lot more, just as we turn the pump up. There we go, there we go. Let's just turn it off ASAP. That's probably gonna go way over because it just Kicked in all of a sudden. 11.2 at about 300 degrees. So as our temperature rises, the reactivity will eventually drop down. Probably not enough for what I'm really wanting to. I'm probably wanting about 10.5 about now. So let's get that to about there. And that should have an immediate effect that we can stop straight away. And stop that straight away. So we should be on just about there. Awesome. I think that is absolutely fantastically stable as we are. So now we've got nice stable power. Let's get our generator into automatic. So it shuts down above our heads just like that. And it won't use any fuel because we don't need it. We've got all the pet, all the um, energy we need. And what are we needing to output? Not enough. Interesting. So let's get this straight up to 49 right now. Right now before we need to get paid after 11 o'clock. And then this will need to come up to about 55 straight away. Get that up a little bit more. 58 should be good for now. Coming up. 56. So now's a perfect time for us to go ahead, go to the marketplace, and get all the stuff we need. So we need one pump there, one pump in that one. We need a steam generator in O2. And we need one generator turbine all done and paid for with 26,000 royalty points left over to at least start some upgrades before installing it. So that's what I'll be saving up for in the next episode. So that'll be delivered to us in the next episode that we can get that second loop running, operational and output to the grid all upgraded fantastically. Different season, really looking forward to it. Comment down below, like, comment, subscribe. YouTube algorithm shows me you like the season. Stay sharp. See ya.